Welcome to the DL store. This video training is for TDS2I and for the function RI. The RI function means that it's reference index. It allows you to find back the part datum in case of power failure or if the job takes a few days to finish. You need to remember to set the part 0 in absolute mode and when needed, you can find back the part 0 using the RI function. The first two steps is to save the reference position of the uh, part 0. First, you uh, should go to absolute mode, set your part 0 and after that, if there's a power failure or you want to continue a job on another day, you have to go back to absolute mode and get to the RI function and choose the axis that you want to find the datum and move until the blinking stop. Let's see how we are going to do it on the actual counter. Over at the counter, First, we need to set the datum, the part 0. Let's, for example, at the label B is the part 0. So we move our reader to B to correspond with the red dot and make sure that it's in absolute mode. And we clear the x axis by using x0. So now this part 0 datum is safe. Okay, and we continue with our machining. And suddenly there's a power failure. And we are still moving the scale. In this case, the part 0 is lost and to the recover back, power on and we go back to the function of RI, reference index, choose the axis to do the reference, X and say exploring and the digital light start to blink. Now move your scale until the red dot meets the red dot on the linear scale. And you emit a pip sound and now you are getting back the datum. And let's move back to the datum B and you'll get back your zero. Okay, so now you get back to your zero at the datum B. Okay. So to summarize, these are the steps that you need to do. The first two steps is to save the reference. The last three steps is to recover back the reference point. Thank you.